Oh, how's it going, bro? The woman I've chosen to be my lover has been an extreme source of motivational energy. It's almost like she's taking care of the feminine pole of the relationship. She's super loving, super affectionate. And she laughs whenever I say this, but I almost see like this let's go energy you know, in a good way. And it gives you a certain sort of energy as a man to see that, that you have that sort of woman. It almost helps you focus on the masculine, like, earning, providing side of things. Because naturally we balance out the relationship. So it's a beautiful dynamic to have. Now oppose this to having a woman who you are worried is cheating on you. A woman who's always in nightclubs, always like on social media posting like provocative pictures. Now you can be in a situation where you're worried that she's talking to other men, worried that she's cheating on you, and then you can't really focus on your work as much as you could be in that in my scenario essentially. The beauty of the scenario I have is it's very attainable for any man who's on self development. The thing is there aren't many men who it might seem that way. But if you look at the stats and earnings and who's jacked and all of that, it's a maximum once one or two percent of men who are like this. So you are at a huge advantage. I highly advise you to continue on this path. Because the beauty of it is, now have your woman like this, you're naturally going to want to almost treat her with the treasures of the world. You want to travel to these nice places with her. But to do that, you need money. To get the money, you need to work hard. The thing is, you wanted the money either way. So now you just have extra motivation to work hard. So it really is a win on all accounts. You're getting the affectionate love that you've always wanted anyway. But you also don't really have to focus on that anymore. Because you're naturally not going to focus more on building yourself up in other ways. Or with the end goal essentially of boosting the relationship. A lot of guys either disagree with this or they deny it within themselves. But... One of the most important things, not the most important thing, even I would agree, not the most important thing, but in your top three is your relationship. So you might as well choose wisely, someone that's going to add value to your life. I'll see you in the next one, bro. Actually, wait, no. <laughs> Scratch that. I also want to add to the conversation I was talking about earlier. So say now you are dating a woman who you know also had a rough past. That's also going to cause problems in your relationship. Uh, probably with being unscripted. My brain thinks of ideas lost, man, but we move. So if she had a rough past, that's going to like bring her trauma into the relationship. And of course, if she has no other problems and she just has like a, a rough childhood, then fine, you can help her through that and your relationship will still bloom very nicely. But if that trauma that she had when she was a child led to bad behaviors in her teenage years or adulthood, that is definitely going to have an impact on your relationship. Again, that's going to distract you. It's going to take you off your focus, off your purpose, off your mission. So you also need to avoid and be careful of a woman who had like a bit of a rough childhood. Now I'm done with the video. I'll see you in the next one, bro. To become your better man.